May the Lord bless you, brethren. This is Enrique Agustin, one of the two earthly managers of these pages. Uh, brethren, during the month of October, we're going to have our prayer vigils every single weekend. This is a month where there is an extreme amount of satanic activity around the world. And we have to pray. We have to pray for the plans of the enemy to be destroyed and annulled in the name of Jesus Christ. We have to pray for our youth who are particularly vulnerable to the attacks of the enemy. There are places in the world where children are kidnapped to be offered in sacrifice, in satanic altars and ceremonies. We have to pray and we have the authority in the name of Jesus to thwart those intents of the enemy, those plans of the enemy. The Lord has given us weapons in his word by declaring his word to the enemy, by declaring that hedge of protection of the Lord's angels over our families, over our homes, over our nations in the name of Jesus. The prayer vigils of this month of October will be dedicated to spiritual warfare. There are certain points within the list of um, prayer points for all the vigils that have to do with spiritual warfare. We're going to give special emphasis to those points, especially during this month of October. I will post them underneath. They are all ready in the list of points of all the vigils, but I will also post them separately. Please go through them and pray, pray. When we're doing spiritual warfare, we are called to quote the word of the Lord, just as our Lord Jesus Christ did with the devil himself when the devil tried to tempt him. He quoted back the word to the devil. We are called to do that out loud, out loud. So brethren, please join us. All the instructions are underneath the video. Please join us starting today, starting this weekend of October 1st through October 2nd, all the way till the end of October. Please check the links below. If you have already sent us your name and your information to join the prayer vigils and the list, Please check your name on the vigil and your time, and we will be expecting you to join us at your appointed time. I know that this is short notice because before the prayer, vig prayer vigils were done only every two weeks, but we have to step it up a notch and start doing them every weekend, at least during October. I do not know if the Lord will lead us to keep the vigils on a weekly basis once October is over. So if you have any questions, please write to Jesus is calling 2015 at gmail.com. If you want to receive the prayer points, at the flyers for the vigils, etc. May the Lord bless you and keep you and please join us. This is war against the enemy. During the month of September, we received, well, not only we received, but the Internet was plagued with false prophecies of dates, of events that never came to pass, because the Lord has the last word when it comes to times and seasons. People don't seem to understand that. We were the first who had to learn that lesson back in 2014. Please let us learn it. Let us learn it. We're not called to obsess about dates and signs and about what a man or a, a woman says. We're called to be in intimacy with the Lord, to pray, to pray, to cry out to Him, to stand in the gap for souls. That is our call. That is our call in these final days, in these final hours. May the Lord bless you, brethren. Please check the links underneath and join us starting today. Amen.